Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Battle Breakdown. This is Zero Hero 87 and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be going up against a Spitfire. And if you haven't been here before, if you're new here, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me out so much. And I, I'm super thankful for everybody who subscribed. And, uh, you know, for those of you who are not, you know, if you like the material, please be sure to like and subscribe and comment on the video. But all right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. And so I spawn in as the zero. And so I'm just scanning out ground targets. And earlier, I think I did see, uh, you know, a speck of, of a dot off in the horizon. So I know someone's coming. I just know that it might take them a little bit of time to get here. And so I have enough time to drop my bomb. And I see two, two spots up there. And so I pick out this target right down here, right towards A. And I generally try to pick out targets that are sitting still. They're a little bit easier to bomb compared to someone who's moving because then you kind of have to judge exactly where you want to drop the bomb. So, all right. So at this point, I know that after dropping my bomb, that more than likely those two planes are pretty close now. And I was correct. And so there's one right here. And so at this point, I don't really know what kind of plane that is yet. But based on the outline, I was kind of suspecting that it might have been a Spitfire. So let's see if it is. And so right when he rolls over right here, it's when I see that I, I am going up against a Spitfire. And at the same time, since I saw him roll on his belly uh, and, you know, start to dive down on me, I know that I had to turn into him and, you know, essentially away from him. So, and so if you look at his tracers at this point, if I kept on going on the trajectory that I was going, those rounds definitely would have hit their target. But it's because I turned into the into the attack that, you know, his rounds actually missed. Alright, so right here, confirmed it's a Spitfire. And we go into a little bit of a rolling scissor here. And I almost hit the ground. And so I am definitely out turning him. And at this point, I can hear a plane behind me it sounds like a plane just came by right behind me and so that's why i did this little upside down roll right here is just to throw off wh whoever's coming at me and if they are shooting then at least it'll you know throw off their aim so i complete this turn and then this is where i put the final shots into this spitfire so i follow it just for a little bit um just to make sure because i know that sometimes uh, planes can still fly quite well with their wing off but at this angle and at this dive I knew he wasn't going to be able to pull it but I just wanted to make sure so afterwards I focused my attention on the next guy and looks like he's already been hit a few times so I pull up a little bit here to throw off his aim and he misses but however something else doesn't miss uh, and it's gonna be this guy right down here and he is, I believe he's an M18 and a single 50 cal to the fuselage. And, you know, like a lot of times it actually does help. Like when you're set on fire like this, if you throttle all the way down to zero, sometimes the flame does go out. So, um, you know, you guys should try that out and see how it goes. This time it didn't quite work out. But, um, you know, a lot of times it actually does. You'll, you'll be surprised. But anyway, so that concludes our battle breakdown for today. And if you you know, found these videos helpful, you know, please like, su subscribe, and also leave a comment. You know, every comment, every view, every subscription really, really helps with, the, my, with my channel. And so I want to thank all of you guys for watching.